Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to take a little break from reading books and I'm going to show you my colouring book collection and what I use when I'm colouring because I know lots of you out there love to do colouring. I do as well. I do a little bit every night. It's a nice way of unwinding after a hard day in the office. So two of these books you'll have seen before but I thought I'd just show you the whole lot that I've got at the moment. I do love buying them and I've bought myself quite a lot in the recent months. Now the first two books were from Carlton Publishing. As you know, I in I think it was around October, November last year, I received a huge uh, box full of books free from Carlton Publishing. I'll link the video down below where I unboxed them. Um, and in them there were two colouring books and the first one is uh, the Butterflies colouring book, which is just absolutely full of lovely butterfly pictures. I have done some in here. I've, uh, I haven't done much, I'll be honest. So this is one I, I haven't finished yet. But I really like that. I like the roses and the butterflies and it's just laziness. I will try and finish that one soon. And that one was done using um, Marco Refine pencils. Um, I'll show you all my pencils afterwards. And this one, um, which I have finished, which is was done using some felt tip pens that I bought really, really cheap from uh, a shop called Watt and they were like 90 pence for 30 colours or 25 colours and that. So they were really cheap. So that was the, the first one I got. Now, the lovely people at Carton also sent me the Fairyland colouring book. Again, this is full of lovely fairies. Some of them are a little bit more complex than others and some of them are really simple. Now, again, I've only done two in this book and uh, again that one was just done with felt pens so it's not very good but it was just fun and just a way of getting used to doing some colouring and the other one was this one and I like that one again that was done with my Marco Refine pencils so I have to admit that I don't actually know when this adult colouring craze started I can remember when I was working for um, Yale Limited we around 2009 one of our managers used to print off like coloring sheets from the internet and we had our felt pens and we just covered in between calls because we were that kind of radical so the next one i bought was from tesco supermarket and it's called uh, coloring for My mindfulness garden 50 designs to help you de-stress now these don't actually say who the artist is but uh it's filled with various garden type things. It's a very small one um, compared to some of the others. And then some of them are really simple and some of them are really complex. I quite like that one there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, again, I've only done one in this. It was done with my felt tip pens. Actually, there's one I really want to do in here that I like. Let me just find it. And it is just this pattern of flowers. Yeah. Um, so I've done one in here and it's this one. So it's just an autumn tree with some felt pens. This was before I actually went and bought my Marco Refine pencils, which were the first pencils I bought. Then I bought a collection of five or six um, in bulk from Amazon. The first one is Escape to Shakespeare's World by Good Wives and Warriors. Now I found this one, I saw a picture from this one on Litzy already coloured and it was a picture from Anthony and Cleopatra and it was, it was, if I can find it, it was this picture and I love anything ancient Egypt so I thought I have got to get that. It's, these are lovely books, they're not very big and again they have the lovely French flaps um, and again there are some simple ones and there are some difficult ones. Do excuse me, every time I do that the light goes but don't worry. I've only actually finished one in this book so far. I have started colouring the globe on the title page but I haven't finished it. Um, but I have done one which is the set for Romeo and Juliet and it says two hosts, it's one of the, the opening line, two households both alike in dignity in fair Verona where we lay our scene and I've done that one. Now that one I did with my Faber-Castell classics. 
So I, I've got some pencils now and I'm still collecting them and deciding which ones I want. I really like this book. I love the la very last one, which is all swell that ends well, of course. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing more in that one. Uh, the next one I'm actually currently working at, and anybody who follows me on Instagram or I'm friends with Facebook and you know, will have seen this because I have been posting a daily updates as I get through it. This is the Fabulous 50s book. Now there are lots of different decade ones, so there's Fabulous 40s and you've got all sorts of 50s style stuff like you've got the glasses, the cat eye glasses and you've got the two ladies in their 50s dresses. Um, I really do like these. They're very simple, there's a uh, 50s diner. They're simple line drawings. The paper's not brilliant quality, it just feels like normal printer paper really, but for your colouring pencils, it's more than okay. There's a 1950s car. And ca there's cameras. There is a nice one, I don't know if I can find that, this one. Oh, fabulous 50s and she says it um i really want to get some neon pencils for that one because the it, neon lights but i'm currently working on the jukebox so as you can see i haven't finished it yet but that is where i am with it and i'm using my derwent color softs on these so i'll show you all the, the pencils and things after we've looked at the books so again because i love ancient egypt i bought the egypt coloring book for adults by the coloring book people and some of these are simple and some of them are difficult. So if we go to the beginning, although they've got, they've got little bits to colour in it, it's not a huge page full of uh, designs. But if you go, up and, and that one, again, it's not a huge, massive, dif difficult thing. And again, these are only one-sided, which is great, whereas uh, the 50s book and the other ones, so far they, they're all double sided, they've all got pictures on both sides. But then a bit later on you get on to these more complex type ones which, you know, the, yeah, I will colour at some point. This is going to be a book that you use pencils in rather than, or crayons in rather than felt tips or watercolours just simply because the, the pages are quite thin. Um, then I've got Molly Harrison's book uh, Fairyland which is full of fantastic fairy pictures which i love i love fairies who doesn't love a good fairy in there who doesn't need a good fairy in their life and there's some lovely pictures i got the, this one's got that one i showed you and then there's this one with the owl is that the right way around or is it upside down no it's the right way around excellent and again i've only done one of this and this is the one i did before i went on holiday started before i went on holiday finished when i came back so it's not the best this was again done with the marco refines you can see the lines on it um but i do like the colors so again they're only single-sided pages and the pages they're still quite thin but still they're fine for, for pens one of my favourites is Selena Fenich's Gothic Dark Fantasy Colouring book. I really like this and one of the reasons I like this book is A, it's single sided so you don't have two pictures to a piece of paper and I also like it because there are two of each picture in there so you can do one one way and then or in one medium and then try it in another medium or completely do it and i've done one in this one to get it if you're if, if you're friends on instagram or you follow me you will have seen this lovely lady again this one was done with the faber castell classic pencils um and i quite like the way it looks and i've done her with you know purple and black and um i gave her blue eyes and it was the sort of a metallic-y purple pencil they're not really metallic but and i used the gold on her hair i picked up one another one from tesco which is called animal magic and coloring adventure and this is one of the ones that's got all the complicated patterns in it so it's hard to see what they are i don't know if you can see that but uh, that one is like some turtles or twitzes and there's some rabbits there so i haven't done anything in this book yet because i'm not that confident on doing these sorts of things again they're only single-sided it's thicker paper it's not cheap paper it's not like printer paper so that's a lot better and then i picked up a couple in Lidl's which is a, a bargain supermarket so it's where everything's like the pilot high set cheap 
um, I got two and this one is the Magic Ocean. Now these are flip top flip ones so they open that way and sort of that way and they also you can also stand them up so they actually so you have a stand and you can stand them up like that and they'll stand. Why you would do that I don't know because you can't colour them like that and so this contains various oceanic scenes so that one's a ship in a bottle and there's a squid with a treasure chest and you've got oh I like that one the sea floor some more turtles so that's a really nice book and at the same time I also got the flower dreams um, they're by a company called relax art and these were like 3 dollars from, from Lidl's and again it's got the up and again some of them are sim they've got some some complicated designs in there and some simpler ones and I really like these patterns and pictures they're really nice now with this one I will say that this paper is really really smooth it's really shiny so it's not the best for blending but I have done one picture in here and it is actually the picture that's actually on the cover but um, and that is this one and I actually like the way that turned out and that was using the Marco Refine pencils which really go very, on very, very easy <laughs> as you can see I could blend them out slightly um, but I so I will be using my Marco Refine pencils on these. I don't think I will try anything else on it because there's not a lot of tooth to the paper. It's very, very smooth. But I find that really suits the marker refines. And believe me, I'm not an expert. I'm hopeless at art. I just like colouring in pictures. But I recently took delivery of another six colouring books because I don't just buy one or two. I buy them in bulk because I'm sad. Uh, I'm not sad, but you know. And I ordered one from a, for a friend as well, so she, you know. And this one, I really like this one. It is the Zodiac and Pentagram Adult Colouring Book by Luke Lloyd. And in it, you've got all of the star signs. So I'm Cancerian, so I'm just going to find Cancer. There's Cancer. They're single-sided again, as you can see. So, and you've got, so, the, the the zodiac signs, and then you have something else. So, this one says spells, and you have other ones that say pagan, or witch, or various other things, and then you also have these wonderful pentagrams. And I think if you're not very good at art, I'll admit, I'm not very good at drawing, I love to colour, but I'm not very good at drawing, and you want to create your own book of shadows, because you're into pagan and wicca this would be a perfect way of illustrating the book because you could take these out and this one says pagan but it's, i just love the way it says pagan so you could take these out and use these to illustrate your book of shadows if you wanted to and it would work really really well i i'm, I'm really looking forward to getting into that one so then we have the creative haven shall we dance uh, which is insanely intricate and i should have noticed that before i actually bought it you can't really see it there but if I open it up on one of the pictures you can see how insanely intricate this book is it looks really good actually on the, the camera so I'm um, I bought this because I wanted to do some dancing pictures because in the week I heard that my dance teacher from when I was at drama school had passed away sadly um, and it really it really upset me even though I hadn't seen her for like 20 years it really it really really affected me I will be honest so I sort of bought that in honor of Annie so and I will be buying more because I love dancing don't do it enough um, another creative haven book I bought was the fabulous fashions of the 1950s coloring book because as you know I love the 1950s and this one is all various pictures from the 50s style outfits um, for the different styles that they wore and it's not insanely intricate but it's intricate enough um, I like that one yeah so, I like that and I do like these ones and they do Creative Haven do some really lovely ones they've got Art Deco and Jazz Age um, 1940s and I think I'm going to collect the, the fashion ones because I really like the fashion stuff because I am um, you know I guess it's part of the actor thing in me that I like looking at the different fashions so I'm really gonna enjoy that one 
Again, as you know, I love ancient Egypt, so I bought another one. The, the next three are all by the same person, actually, and this is Jade Summer, and this is the Ancient Egypt Adult Colouring Book. Now, the, none of these were, like, over £5 at all. These are all really cheap books, and um, there are some I want that are a bit more expensive, but I'm trying not to spend horrific money. So, again, some of these are really complicated, and some of these are quite simple. So if you look at that one, it looks quite complicated you can see it what I do like about this is the back page the back side of the page is black so you're not going to get any seepage through um, so that's quite a complicated complex one then this book actually has a lot of the pictures repeated in it so you get two of them so you get two of uh, Nefertiti which is great because for me that's really good because I can colour them the way they would have in ancient Egypt and then when I get to the double I could colour it in a really psychedelic way or really you know how I you know I could just go to town with the colours but I would like to colour them um, the way they should be coloured rather than any other way so this way I get to do both I can colour them the way the Egyptians would have coloured their walls and their art which would have been mostly with um, obviously sand colours um, red greens golds blues and black was the main colours that they used because it was all natural pigmentation in those days but then I can always go to town and do a 60s psychedelic version of some of them which would also be really cool I also bought delicious desserts by Jade Summer and again you get more than one of these so it's also Although you could see, well, I feel really cheated because there's two of them. If you make a mistake in one, it doesn't matter because you can go and do it again. And I really like her art. And I really like, like I said, this fact that the back page is black, so you're not going to get any seepage through. The paper in this, it has got a bit of tooth to it. It's quite thick. It's not cardboard. Um, the only problem I have with this is what I'm going to It's going to make me really hungry and I'm going to want to eat lots of desserts and things. And the last one um, I got from Jade Summers is her Haunted House book. So I love anything to do with Halloween and witchcraft and horror. And um, yeah, pretty much I just love it. So this one has got lots of scary pictures in it. So you've got a little girl running from something and there's hands trying to grab her from the trees. You've got, let's see, where else we got? We've got a scary scarecrow. We've got... Uh, a big skull I, and I just love them I think they're fantastic and then we got these hanging I, I want to say children and these heads hanging from trees so I'm really gonna look forward to that one so those are all the books I currently have if you want to see a flip through of any one specific book leave me a comment down below I'd be happy to film one I'll set the camera up so I can just point it directly at the thing the book so I'm going to show you some of the supplies I've got now and I've been moving them so I don't know where they've gone so I've got the tub of 72 Marco Refine ones. These don't have colour names on them. And how do you do that? Like that? I don't know if it's going to focus. But it does have the colour number. And like I said, they work best on the, the Liddles books I've got because they're really, really smooth paper. And then I've got... I've recently just got the Prismacolor colourless blenders to use and the DeWent electric eraser that only arrived today I've got the 60 Faber Castell classics which I really like something like that I am going to get a proper case for them and finally my biggest splurge in March was my DeWent ones which are in this I bought them in the wooden box because I'm like sad like that and I love them there are 48 of them they only have 72 and so I've got the 48 in here and I'm going to collect the other ones and get a case for them and collect them separately as well as get some other ones like the Prisma colours at some point. So those are all my colouring collections, colouring book collectors, the colouring books I've got and all my supplies at this time. Um, if you've got any recommendations of colouring books or colouring supplies you think I should be trying, leave them down below if you want a flip through or a colour on. Again, let me know and I'll be happy to do that for you. And that's it for me on this one. This has been a really long video, I know, and I will see you soon, booktube. Bye now.